Coach, can you talk about today's performance? Well, you know, overall, look, you, you win a game like this against a really good opponent, you, you got to feel good about it. Um, we're still on the journey, though. You know, we uh, had a, it was a we, as I told the team after the game, it was kind of the tale of two different games. First half, I thought we played great defense. Second half, I thought we played great offense. Uh, you look at the saves, their goalie had 11 saves in the first half. Maybe we were playing good offense then, but he was just, you know, doing real well. Second half, we were able to, to score some goals. But uh, disappointed in the second half defensive production, disappointed maybe a little bit uh, in, the, in the overall score of uh, how many they got. But in general, as Jeremy said, this is a good team win. This is another team that's supposed to be there, and, and we may see in a few weeks. So we uh, feel good about getting a win out of there. Uh, as he said, there's games go like this sometimes. Sometimes the more you score, the more they score, and because the ball's going up and down. But overall, I thought uh, it was a good, solid team effort. Can you talk about the face-off play today? Um, kind of had, a, had, had some good numbers out there. Um, it kind of went back and forth. Yeah, again, it was the same thing as the, as the rest of the game. You know, I think in, in the first half we were uh, 2 for 10, and the second half we were 11 for 16. So uh, I think Chris finally got, you know, their guys, you know, system down a little bit, and he battled real hard, and, uh, and he, uh, you know, he gave us a great effort in the second half, which we needed, and it showed up in the scoreboard. So, uh, you know, overall, if we can keep going 50% and not give up any fast break goals, uh, we feel really good about that. What can you say about the record crowd that we had out there, 2,700 fans at Peter Barton Lacrosse Stadium? Uh, you know, I'm so excited about the, the whole Denver lacrosse thing, you know, uh, starting with uh, our players and, and our, sta you know, our administration and, and our school and how much support we get. Uh, the students were amazing today. I've never seen anything like that, and, and that was just great, you know, uh, uh, from our from our dancers and our cheerleaders and and uh, and our new scoreboard and the stadium being packed and uh you know it's just a great atmosphere you, you know other coaches don't like coming here but they like coming here because they feel that this is a uh, what college lacrosse should be all about and i'm uh, uh, so excited about hopefully our future this has been a rough spring as far as weather goes so uh with this today was kind of our first nice day and um you know, hopefully we get, uh, you know, the Marquette game in two weeks, and then hopefully we'll get a home playoff game. But one step at a time, we've got to win that Big East championship. Can you um, talk a little bit about the throwback jerseys that the guys were wearing out there? Yeah, and first and foremost, thanks to Warrior, you know, uh, Matt Kosick and Kenny Clausen and Dale Kohler and especially David Morrow, who owns Warrior, played for me a long time ago. Um, that, that's just a special thing that they did for us. And, and uh, you know, a whole new set of helmets, gloves, Jerseys, shorts—that's not a cheap. That's not a cheap day, you know. And to do it as a throwback, as a one-time event, allowing us to uh, to donate some of the proceeds from the auction to Boys and Girls Club of Denver, which is, uh, we're, you know, always been a great group for us. Uh, I think our guys were very proud to play in those uniforms today. I think the worst part about it is, you know, they know they're taking them off now and never wearing them again. But uh, it, it it was great and. Uh, Little weird for me, I you know uh, the colors were a little little off, but uh, that's what they were supposed to be because that was Denver's old colors back in the '80s, and uh, so it, it was it that was the, I know uh, early in the week when we were struggling a little bit with our emotion after a tough game last week, when our guys saw those uniforms, they really got pumped, and that that was a you know I contribute a, a lot of this win to those uniforms. Thanks, coach.